Hello, welcome back to Dan Sushi Life Funding. In this episode, I'll be sharing with you how I created this uh, setup using animation nodes and geometry nodes. So the setup is simple. Uh, test, test, test. This is a test recording. So there is a sound audio running in the background. And you see there's a bunch of icosphere that's kind of uh, reacting into that audio. Let me show you the audio first. It's under video sequence editor. This is the voice that I recorded. I can anytime change this audio and record different audio and it should give a different result. So hello, test, test, test. This is a test recording. So let me try. Like if I delete that audio and test recording, this is a push to talk add-on for Blender. So you just do a quick test recording and if we turn on waveform do a quick test recording so you can see it's a uh, quite real time and reactive so the audio is controlling the nodes so what's going on really this is all the nodes under 10 nodes that you can just set up very very quickly um this is animation nodes right as you already know this guy can take an audio and you can sample it based on these counts. So I sample it 20 times. That's why we have, I think, kind of like a 20 sound Sweet. samples. Anyhow, this goes inside set custom attribute. So this is actually quite interesting nodes with uh, animation nodes. This is like a animation nodes with extra. I think it's coming from Coolip, Coolip VFX, and this is this guy is sending data into a geometry nodes. So this is quite advanced. The nodes is simple, but it's a. Uh, in order to do this, you might need some understanding of what's going on. So the nodes is sending data. In order to see the data, I just remove the instance for now. You can see this is the. AN animation nodes attributes custom attributes that's being passed into the queue and then we have this custom data coming in the number of points from here is not matching here but we can always adjust it so we have now 25 data in real time this audio is turned into value that's Kind of being transferred into the instance object over here okay so it's quite advanced like i said a quick test recording do a quick test recording so yeah um but you get that kind of neat effects very very quickly and and you can f even subdivide further subdivide the cube further and then randomize the positions and if we check, oh, what's the number? 97. This sample is 97 times. Do a quick test recording. So I think we don't actually need that one, but then do a quick test recording. It's more interesting like this. So just 20 times sampling of the audio. And then the value is kind of scattered randomly anyway it's like a random points test recording but it looks like reacting a quick test recording imagine having this like a uh, as augmented reality objects you know like scattered points Record. that's reacting to your voice based on the distance of you it's a very interesting stuff you can do oh yeah if you are interested with this it's a it's an add-on that you can add push the talk by Ines and Francesco so once you install this you have this recorder inside video sequence editor inside blender testing one two three tests so this Testing one, two, three, test. So this actually save save the audio 
inside your folder somewhere so push to talk add-on it's using the built-in microphone you can specify the folder it's, it's gonna save it as wave files and blender will reload it and you have this you can simply specify the audio inside animation nodes and this transfer the data into geometry nodes all right so <laughs> it's quite advanced but pretty cool stuff you can do this is just the basics all right so i'm just showing you the whole things working together all right so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye